Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, I'm going to have a lot of fun because I get to use the Omicron Lab Suite software with this bad boy, Omicron Lab. <laughs> it's a really cool box. I just like to show it because I just think it's so cool. Uh, but I'll put links down below where I show the insides and all the stuff that comes with this thing. Comes with this little isolation box so I can inject a signal into this Class A amplifier without worrying about grounds or any of those kind of things. It's isolated, galvanically isolated, so I can do that. And then I can use differential probes like I am on one of them. On the so what I have is a generator output. I have a channel one and channel two. Channel one's my input, channel two is the output. I could switch them around if I want. The software allows me to set it up the way I like. Anyway, I'm gonna do it that way. And I'm gonna use my computer. I gotta get my computer hooked up. And then what I wanna do is run a Bode plot. Normally when I run Bode plots, well, at least a lot of times when I run a Bode plot, I do it the one watt thing because that's the way a lot of amplifiers are specified. So this is a class uh, A amplifier. It was listed as a 20 watt amplifier board that I put in here, but I've beefed it up where it's, it's, I think it's like, it's almost 40 watts, not quite. It's just like 38 watts or something like that. So, and uh, I'm gonna do a full batch of tests on this. I got it back from my buddy. He loves this amplifier. He's had it for months. I got it back. I'm gonna, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this in another video. But in this video, what I want to do is I want to do a Bode plot where I pump up the volume to, to that 36, 38 watts. Okay? And you're going to see something interesting in the Bode plot uh, where you can see where the distortion starts to happen, where it actually affects the Bode plot. It's kind of interesting. So let's just come over here and jump into this video and do it. All right, guys, here's the amp. I took the top off so you could see all the beauty down in there. <laughs> this thing is hot, guys. I just unplugged it, just let it cool off for a moment. I'm going to do some more testing later, but I've got the input here, and I've got some differential probes and the signal coming into the input. On the output, I have differential probes, um, and I've got a scope probe coming into, a, it's a times 10 probe coming into the right over here. So, okay guys, so I've got the Bode 100 right here and the signal generator is coming into this transformer so I can isolate it. It's coming out of here and it's a shielded cable, but anyway, it comes up right here into the input. And then I've got a differential probe over here. I was gonna use both of those, so I have two of them, but I got a mix sig differential probe, it's a times 10. And it is coming back around here to the input of this Bode 100. And the other input, channel 2 of this Bode 100, is got one of their probes, one of the uh, times 10 probes coming to the output here. So that's how I'm looking at the signals. And yeah, this amp. And, the, oh, and then I've got an 8 ohm speaker. I'm just testing one side for right now. Um, it's a class A amp. Both sides are going to be running really hot, just sitting still. Uh, really doesn't get any hotter when you're playing music. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's. Uh, I got the Bode analyzer suite up. Let's run this measurement here. Gain phase. All righty, and here's our nice little analyzer suite over here. Trace one on the top, right underneath it, the blue ones. Trace two. Let's come take a look at the setup. Hit this button here. Now, here's my source coming out of the output into the input of the device under test, DUT. Receiver 1's the input. It'll be gain will be channel 2 divided by channel 1's how we're going to set it up. So, I'm going to put both these with an attenuation of 20 dBs and uh yeah, so I think that's how we're going to set these guys up. And I'm going to use a times 10 probe on both of them. So I think that's I think that's good. Let's go ahead and you know what receiver bandwidth. Let's go down to uh, 
It's going to have 30 hertz, I think. That's probably good. Okay. Now, up here it says 10 hertz to 1 meg. I don't think they need to go to 1 meg, right? Let's go to 100K. And, yeah, let's just go from 10 hertz. All right. And let's see. Number of points. DBMs. I think we'll start off with 0 DBMs. Because we have this attenuation that will help attenuate the signals. And I think that ought to be good. Let's go ahead and start it. So we're going to go continuous, okay? Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, the gain is over here on the left. The red one up here near the top. So I'm going to have to get some more dBs. We're going to go uh, 30 dBs. And we're going to drop the bring the bottom one up because we're not going to drop that far I don't think so we'll go plus minus 30 dBs on the left and look how flat that is that's pretty darn flat now the phase um, it started to separate here's 20 kilohertz right here so the phase we're down to in this range here not quite 40 so uh, that's pretty good I could bring these guys over here uh, put this marker right here on 20 hertz so that's right up here and so you see minus 32 and then i'll take this marker and put it over here on 20 hertz so 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so here's 20 hertz up here well almost 20 hertz 1999 i think you can type it in right here and it'll move that cursor right exactly where you want it so there's 20 and i'll put this one at 20k there we go. So they're right on. Look, look how flat that is. 0.4 dBs across there. That is pretty darn flat, guys. And uh, we start off uh, a little bit of a phase shift right here at the beginning. And we end up with some phase shift down here. So, but that looks pretty darn good. So there is our Class A amp. Now that's a you know what is that what the gain is about 19 dbs i'm going to go ahead and save that okay save as Alrighty. so this measurement um i'm going to go ahead and hit the continuous and i'm going to bring up the gain on the amplifier a little bit i'm going to bring it up just below the where it hits the red line okay okay right about there I was adjusting it continuously uh, because, yeah, right down there under 10 hertz, it was low. So, okay, so now it ought to hit there. So let's see what happens. There we go. All right. Okay, guys, that's about 11 volts RMS out. And then it drops off. All right, let's see what we got there. I'm going to have to bring up this decibels over here on the side. Okay, right about there. And that ought to capture our gain here. I'm trying to get it where just almost red lines on the meter. Not to mean that that's going to red line, but oh, look at this. See when it goes red here? I think we need to go here and hit some attenuation. Um, let's attenuate the output. See that red right there? Let's see if that goes away. Yeah, there we go. I didn't want to overdrive the, uh, Boldy 100. There we go. Now we get a nice clean white sheet. Sweet. So look at that. And it'll just keep on going because it's continuous. And yeah, this Class A amp is pretty toasty right now, guys. And we're hitting about 15 volt. Yeah, about 15 volts RMS right through there. And this is into 8 ohms. Oh, you know what? I actually have my attenuation wrong on this. No, I think I'm right. Yeah, I'm good. All right. 
Okay, guys, I have it pegged right now. Okay, I've got the game pegged, and let's see what happens on this next suite. Shows the game's got a... Yeah, I don't think that's quite right. Here, let's go up here and hit this guy. And we're going to go 30 dBs on both. And see if that gives us better reading. Okay, I think I was over driving a little bit. So I just brought just down from max right there. And I think I'm still kind of clipping a little bit. Just right there, low frequency is just clipping just a little bit. Okay, that's about 20 volts RMS out. All right, let's see what happens now. Yeah, there we go. That looks much cleaner. Just be the knob goes a little bit higher into distortion, and I think I'm still kind of barely hitting it. Okay, let's see if we get a clean waveform this time. It's kind of interesting because I can tell that the gain actually increases when it's flat topping. I think it's because the RMS value is higher because it's square wave instead of sine wave. All right, we got about 18 volts RMS out. Well, let's see, that was rolling off, so that's not a good place to measure. You can see how it's a lower amplitude and I just barely adjusted the knob and we're just below 18 volts RMS <clears throat> alright guys I'm kind of calibrating everything here and just trying to find the absolute peak which I think I went just over it again so I think this is the peak setting right here. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, this is without distortion. So this should be, yeah, it's interesting how it just drops uh, the graph down. The gain drops quite a bit when I get it out of distortion. That's interesting. All right, cool. So there we go. That is our curve right there, guys. So, that's what we can get out of this amplifier. Nice, clean power. And, okay, I'm just watching it one more time. 100, yeah. Okay, so it's interesting because I actually, I'm going in the red on my needle just a little bit, like 1 dB in the, the red. So, I kind of can gauge that now. And uh, that looks pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, guys, this thing got really warm. It's gets really toasty. Uh, I went online and I got a little fan. I might put a fan in here. I don't know. Uh, it's a quiet fan. I'm gonna have to see how quiet it is. But yeah, this thing just gets really toasty. Uh, another thought I had was backing off the class A just a touch uh, so it runs just a little bit cooler and at higher levels it might go from A to class AB but I don't know what do you guys think maybe I should just leave it where it is because he loves the sound I hate to mess with it but I got to do another video where I'm going to do a full makeup of this I'm going to go back and show you the schematic I'm just going to go through the whole thing and kind of a quick pace hopefully so that I can put it all in one video okay I might have one more video I do before on this <laughs> so we'll see I got the quant asylum uh, QA what is it called the 401 uh, box where I can do the spectrum on this thing so I might do that too but this Omicron I love it this thing's an amazing tool impedance analysis all kinds of things you can do with this thing I've got a few videos. I'll put the link down below for, I think I, there's a playlist for the Omicron Labs 
a unit. If there's not, I better make one, huh? But, all right, guys, so what do you think of this? There is a playlist on this uh, build. It took, I don't know, at least half dozen or so videos I did on this. Probably eight videos, because I showed the first video where I sh is 20 watts, and anyway, yeah, I showed a bunch of videos. Hey, I want to th say thank you to my Patreons. Appreciate you guys. Thanksgiving's rolling around. So I want to say thanks, and hopefully you like this video. I'm trying to pump out a bunch of videos for the holiday for this next week, and hope you guys appreciate it. So uh, hit the like button if you don't mind. Oh, there's a thank you button down there too. Buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> or don't. Just hit the, thing, uh, the like button. That's good enough. Uh, Patreons, you can sign up to be a Patreon if you like too. Appreciate that. Or just subscribe. That'd be awesome. That's a free way to support the channel. So. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you like this. Let me know what you think of this. This Omicron's not inexpensive, but it's a very professional uh, instrument, and it's amazing. I love it. For power supply guys, everybody wants one of these bad boys. So I'm going to do a bunch of power supply videos. Ah, it's too bad I have a day job, huh? I could do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but, I'm yeah, I'm going to squeeze them in. So thankfully, my wife's kind and doesn't mind me doing this she knows it's my hobby she you know it's kind of an expensive hobby but my patrons help out with that they put a dent in that that spinning so appreciate it guys and hey better get off i'm just blabbering uh thanks for watching see you next time